I can see clearly now the rain has gone. Do, 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 do. I can see all obstacles in my way. Do, 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 do. <gasps> Is that recording? <gasps> How embarrassing. Guys, I didn't see you there. I was just singing a song in my kitchen and well, anyway, I've got my little apron on because I was about to wash some dishes. So I thought there might be one or two of you out there that haven't ever washed a dish before. I don't know. It's possible. So I thought what better time than now to teach you guys what it's like to wash dishes. So I promise you this isn't an advert, but one of the most important things you're going to need to wash dishes is something like this. This is called sunlight dishwashing liquid. And well, it's amazing stuff, but there's all sorts of other dishwashing liquids out there that you can use. And probably there's some quite healthier ones than this one, uh, biodegradable ones or ones that don't hurt nature, that kind of thing. But this is the one that I have at the moment. So this is what we're gonna be using today. We're also gonna need a sponge or something like that. So do you guys think I should use this sponge? Or do you think I should use this sponge? Hmm. What do you think? You can write your comments down below. <laughs> anyway, I decided to go with this sponge. I hope you guys agree. I'm gonna run a nice sink full of warm water and then I'm gonna get started and then I'll show you how to wash a dish. Now, part of the reason that I thought it would be important to show you guys how to wash a dish is that, you know, during lockdown, your mums and dads probably have a lot to do and a lot of chores they need to get done, and I'm sure they could really, really use some help from you guys. So I hope that you're asking them every day if there's any little chores or any little helpful errands that you can do for them around the house. And it might just turn out that washing dishes would be one of those things. And now you're gonna know exactly how to wash those dishes. Hmm, it feels so funny. This feels like there's something a little bit different about me today. What is it, what is it? Hmm. Hmm. Strange. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. One other little thing I just wanted to mention is that we still need to be really, really careful with water in Cape Town. Um, you know we've been having a bit of a drought for a few years, so when you're washing your dishes, just run a small sink full of water, and with your rinsing water, just a little bit of water to rinse, and a little bit really does go a long way, I promise. Look at my beautiful soapy water. So you take your nice sponge and you swish it around and you wash the inside of things and then you turn it around and you, you watch the outside of things. You give them a good feel to see if all oh, whatever is in there is out and you swish it around. Then you bring it across here and you give it a rinse in your rinsing water. And now that can go over there to dry. We have quite a few dishes there already because I've been baking all day. Now I'm going to wash the spatula. You can see it's full of peanut butter cookie dough mixture. So I'm going to give it a good wash on the one side. And I'm going to turn around and give it a really, really good wash on the other side also. Now I'm going to look at it to make sure all the peanut butter um, dough is gone. Peanut butter cookie dough. Yeah, it looks pretty good. And it's going to get a rinse. And off it goes to get dried. I must say, I've never washed dishes with one hand before. It's quite an experience slipping and sliding away from me. I think you guys are going to do a much better job considering you all have both your hands here. All right, there's my glass. Let's go and rinse now. Wow, that's a clean glass. Danger, danger. A sharp knife. Hmm, maybe put that one aside and get your mommy to wash the sharp knives, guys. Well, I'm a big girl, so I can wash this knife. And here's a plate that I used earlier. So I'm gonna give that a really good wash. And never, never forget to turn plates around and wash the other side. Even though we only eat off this side, um, it's always a good idea to give the other side a wash because sometimes we stack plates on top of each other. So the food from one plate can go onto the bottom of another plate. So make sure that you give that plate a really nice wash on both sides. And don't forget to give a little rinse over here. Well, I'm very proud and excited to share with you that I've washed all the dirty dishes in this entire kitchen. So I hope that you can find a few dirty dishes and do the same yourself. Uh, just check in with mum and ask her if it's okay if you wash the dishes and she can make sure that there's no sharp knives or blades or anything like that in the dishes. 
Okay, so go out there and have some fun.